It is time for the latest edition of What's in a Name this morning, and we're getting a little nutty. We are talking about a bridge, but yes. not the average bridge that you and I can walk on. They are for squirrels only. Where are squirrels crossing these bridges, you ask? Longview is the answer, and that's where Devin Haskins is hanging out this morning. Devin, tell us about these squirrel bridges. Yeah, I mean, when we know how to cross streets, we learn at an early age. You know, you look both ways, you go. For a squirrel, it's maybe more like a game of frogger of just darting and dashing to get across. Well, a local man almost 60 years ago built this bridge. It's called the Nutty Narrows, and it is a way for the squirrel, squirrels to cross the roads, which we actually just saw about a minute ago, across this busy road. Imagine having to avoid these this at 30 miles an hour just across the street. Now imagine doing it as a squirrel. It's almost too nutty to believe, but there's a solution for these rodents whose name means shade tail. It's called the Nutty Narrows, a bridge built for squirrels to avoid an almost certain death. They started in 1963 and they were started by Amos Peters. Amos Peters was a local architect who kept noticing dead squirrels on the road as he went to work. Here's his original sketch of the design. So him and a bunch of other pranksters got together and they built the first squirrel bridge. And they built it out of antenna stock, so it was real lightweight. Nutty Narrows hangs over Olympia Way in Longview, and even though it looks empty, the squirrels use them. This is Rick Johnson, president of the local Sandbaggers Club. We do things and then we ask for forgiveness later. The Sandbaggers are known for their nuttiness, they organized a squirrel fest over a decade ago. It's a free festival held every year to celebrate that first squirrel bridge. We usually find one or two people that come to our event and say, well, down south, we eat them things. You know, up here, we, we, we look at them differently. And at almost every squirrel fest since, a new bridge is unveiled and hung. Currently, we have eight bridges right now. There's the safety awareness bridge, the John R. Dick Squirrel Bridge. It's a replica of a bridge in Boston. The R.D. Olson Bridge, which resembles the Lewis and Clark Bridge, and the SNR Squirrel Bridge. If that looks familiar, it's an exact replica of the Fremont Bridge, except with the squirrel theme. Every bridge is different. Every bridge was built by a, uh, either a company or a corporation or something, and, and it's their own design. The Squirrel Fest may only last a day, but the celebration of the bridges lasts even longer. Every year, the Nutty Narrows gets decorated for the holidays. So if you ever see a squirrel trying to cross the road, try and guide them to the nearest squirrel bridge. <laughs> if you want to come experience Squirrel Fest here in Longview, it takes place on Saturday, August 20th. That's tomorrow. Kicks off at 10 a.m. It is free for the whole family to come join. There's food, there's music, there's games. Everything, it lasts from 10 to 10. So back here in Longview, the Squirrel Bridge, the Nutty Narrows, was actually added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2014. And to commemorate Amos Peters' uh, con contribution for those squirrels, they built him a statue. <laughs> 